I just realized that I still haven't activated Windows, so the activate Windows thing is going to be at the bottom right of this video for the whole time. So recently a video of mine has kind of been popping off on YouTube like seven months after it popped off on TikTok already, so I don't really know what that's about. Either way, I've wanted to make this video ever since before I posted the original one because I made this house in like April, but it is a huge Minecraft mansion. I broke that block. I'm going to replace these. So for this, you're going to need some concrete of white and gray if you want it. Uh, you're going to need two types of wood. I'm going to go with jungle and birch. Uh, but if you go with darker ones, the house becomes more cozy or dark or whatever sort of fill you want. Just don't use acacia because acacia is garbage and no one likes it. And that's what I'm going to use for now for the frame. We can get onto the glass later because that's a pain. So... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 concrete in a line like this. So then we're going to start on this block, start counting 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Then again, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Then again, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And we have this little line here, and this is going to be a nice little white concrete space. Then we start from here, one, two, three, four, and we build our first gray concrete structure. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. And that is a four by four little square, and we're gonna build this up six blocks high. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And just just cap this whole thing off like this. And then if you want, you can put if you want, you can put a band around like this. It'll it'll become apparent later what this is for. But we're gonna leave spaces here for glass and for lights and stuff. But this is gonna be a little a little side door, essentially. So starting here, we start a block here, and then one, two, three, four this way. And counting this, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven this way. And then from here, this is a long one, uh, it's 21 blocks. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 21. I know what I'm doing. So bring this back across these 11 blocks. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And just bring it home. Now we're back here again. So one, two, here, and one, two, three, and here I'm just going to build this up, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, like that. We have this little thing here, then one, two, three here, and then again here, one, two, three, four, five, that's just going to be for my own sake, then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then another one, two, three, four, five, up. And here we go across one, two, three, then one, two, three, four, five. Oh, a lot of counting. Then we go one, two, three, four, five, six, and one, two, three, four, five. And we go one, two, three, one, two, three, four. And then we just box this little place off like so. And we got this little sidewall here. And so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to connect up this part on the top here, but I'm going to leave this section untouched. And here, we have to start work on this. So one, two, three this way, one, two, three that way. And this is going to be a six by six. So one, two, three, four, five, six, two, three, four, five, six, two, three, four, five, six. Um, and I'll just fill this in. Then starting one away from the edge here, we go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and then back 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, like so. And just like that, we have an outline for our house along with the beginning of some walls. So easiest to start off is over here. We're going to bring this wall back a little bit, bring this wall up a little bit. Bring this wall across all the way here, bring this back, and bring this up. We're essentially snaking along this path, and you're going to be excluding the pillars here 
on every other one because that actually makes it look a lot more modern if you if you leave those out it has a little cantilever aesthetic and it just it just makes it look more open and more futuristic so starting here we have one two three four five then bring this across and then we're gonna bring this all the way back I'm just gonna use my auto clicker <laughs> Uh, and then bring this up, bring it over here, and we're going to bring this one up too. And then for uh, sanity's sake, I'm just going to bring this back too, and finish this little thing off with columns on the inside too. So now starting here, one, two, three, four, five, of course, and we're just going to bring this all the way back to our thing over here, and we're going to put one, two, three, four, five, and cap this spot off. And now I'm gonna build this whole platform up. So with this, we're gonna build this up 13 blocks. It's, this, it's a hefty one. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. And then fill this in at the top here. And then we're just gonna fill in these two walls here. So this space and this space. And also, once you get to the top of these walls, cut out this little space here under it to make a nice little window. So then we start here on the back and we're gonna leave this spot open, like so. And again, it's off center now, but it will make sense in the context of the whole house. So just just, just wait, for, wait for it, wait for it, don't worry. So now I finished building this up and we can leave this alone for now. But this will eventually be the tallest part of the house, so That'll stay. That'll be style. That'll stay. Now we can start along the floor here. I'm going to bring this back. So I'm going to bring this line all the way down to this pillar here. And I'm going to do the same up above it. Then here, I'm just going to put some columns one block away from these. And then counting from here, just one block away, we're going to go one, two, three. Then three blocks in between, then another one, two, three. And then connect this up like this. And starting from here, we go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 1, 2, 3 again, and then bring that back home to make a box like this. And this is going to end up being the staircase, so I'm going to go ahead and build this up. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 like this, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then connect this up in a box. And once you do that, you come from here, 1, 2, 3, 4. The second floor is actually a bit smaller, 1, 2, 3, 4. And you bring it back again. And from here we do another two. And that's the last of this little section. And it's in total 11 blocks tall. So all in all, this is not a very tall house at its peak reaching only 13 blocks. So then starting from here, this is eight blocks long. So you're gonna take this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then bring it down here and then connect it up like this to make a little box here. And we're gonna take this concrete line and I'm just gonna fill it in like that around this spot. Then here, we can just build this up and then connect it to this here and wrap this around as well. And then fill in the concrete around this structure here. You can leave this spot open here so it doesn't look so constricted and then fill in this wall behind it, like so. And here, we just connect this up, mirroring the concrete below it. So then we bring this out, one, two, three, and bring this across, and stop once you get to this block here, and then just bring it down. And then here, you bring it across to this pillar, and you've got yourself a little line. And this is gonna be its own room. Then you take that line and you're going to mirror it above again. And just drag this back and across. And then here too. So we're mirroring a lot of the lines on the floor here above it for the rooms. So the rooms are gonna be very similar on the floor plan on both floors. And then you're gonna fill in this pillar here, connecting that up. And that's most of the concrete on the first floor. So let's move to the second. So here we're going to be one, two, three, four, five, and put a block here and bring this all the way across. And then 
we're going to build this up one, two, three, four, and build this all the way across. So again, the second floor is going to be one block smaller, so everything's going to be four blocks tall instead of five. Uh, one, two, three, four here, and we're going to connect this, and then we're going to do one, two, three, four here, and then we're going to build another one right here. And then connect this back up like that, and we've got a little wall like this. Then we're going to build the same pillar here, one, two, three, four, five again. We're going to keep this one looking five. And instead of not putting a pillar here, we're going to put a pillar here to make a little sort of snake um, on this line where it goes up and around in an S. So we're going to bring this back. And just like I said here, we're not going to be putting a pillar. We're going to leave that alone, but we are going to put a pillar here. And then we're going to connect this back up again. And we're going to put a pillar here. So now I'm going to bring this back here and this one above it back as well and put a pillar there, bring this around to the front but not put a pillar there and then bring this all the way this way. And then right here, we're going to build a pillar up and then two blocks to the left, we're going to build a pillar here to make a nice little doorway. Then we're going to build a little balcony, so one, two, three, four, five, and then down. And do the same here, one, two, three, four, five, and then down. And connect this up like that. And soon there's going to be a glass walkway here, and you can look down on the ground. So then I'm just going to bring this back. So now this is going to be a little weird one. We're going to build this a one block higher. It will make sense what the floor is there. And we're going to bring this back like so, and then this back like so, and make a little space here for a door. Then build this up to four blocks, this two, and just bring this across like so. And then here where this lines up, we're going to put two blocks there. And that's how that looks. I'm very sorry if this looks like a, a jumbled web because this is my first time doing a house tutorial this big, but either way. Uh, we're going to put one, two, three, four blocks up here, and then around, again, wrap this around like so. Then we're going to bring this back, and we're going to not put a pillar there, and then we're going to put a pillar here. So now we're going to build this back, build this up here, and then bring this across just like we did downstairs. Uh, we're going to build a pillar up here, we're going to bring this across, and we are done with that. Again, there's going to be a door here, but we'll cross that bridge when we get to it because it can really be anywhere on this wall that you want. And I want to decide for myself where I want it. So I think we're almost ready if we finish this part that I messed up. Uh, we're almost ready to actually start putting in the wood because I think that's all the concrete done for this. Yeah, it wasn't. So starting here, I'm going to choose one of the two types of wood. So I'll do birch here. And I'm going to bring this one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, and leave a block for here and bring this back one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then down again, three. And just pull this whole thing across. And this is going to be our doorway, whatever you want to call it. There is no actual front entrance, but whenever I have this in a survival world, I usually enter through here. So then we're going to bring this back all the way across here as a little wall. And let's just punch out a little window. And same thing here. And again, you can punch out a little window if you want. I'm gonna make my three blocks like this. We like these little small bunker type windows. I don't know, they look modern or something. So one thing I forgot to tell you to get was some slabs. So hopefully I didn't ruin your entire experience. And I'm going to slab up this wall like so. And then up here, we can actually see we have a little balcony area. So now on the floor, we're going to put planks all over this area. And the use of these concrete things is actually like a barrier, a separating uh, feature between different wood styles. So usually when I have a line on the ground, it means that on either side of that line, there's going to be a different type of wood. 
So it's just a neat little tip uh, if you want to like change your palette throughout your house, change your block types, have like a type of block that separates them in between so you can like, d you don't have to make it look weird transitioning between blocks. I wish I had world edit, but like I just got this computer and I don't have any plugins installed and also I don't know how world edit would run with this recording software. I don't know how fast this computer is. So this recording could be at like 10 frames a second and I wouldn't even know. But then we have this whole floor done in this birch wood. And out here, it's starting to look a lot neater um, and it gives much more definition and depth to the house. So here, we're gonna use jungle. And actually a fun tip for survival, um, if you're building this in survival, which I have done multiple times, I think three, um, I would actually use slabs because you can't even tell the difference if you place them right, and you use half the blocks. So if you're making these floors, I have a lot of them as slabs simply for a functional reason, and I guess it does look neater, but overall, I just really wanted to spend half the amount of blocks as uh, I needed on this house, because you're filling this all in with, like, jungle slabs. That's jungle planks. That's a lot of jungle planks. Like, this is a big house. Same with the birch, but, like, jungle's a pain to get if you're, like, not in a jungle biome. Uh, in I, I built this in a jungle biome, and there's a load of problems that come with that. But that just goes for anything. If you, if you want to build a floor, make it out of slabs, and that goes for cobblestone as well. So now I'm going to fill in this section with the slabs as well, but the thing is, know that you can just make this a staircase down, but because this is a super flat, I can't exactly do that. Uh, so I'm going to fill this in with the wood, but I'll fill it in with a different type of wood. Uh, I'll fill it in with, I'll fill this in with spruce slabs on the ground here, just so you know that you can do something with it. But I definitely recommend it for a staircase down because this is the staircase structure. That's its purpose. So then here we have this space. We're going to fill this all in with the wood. So then here, I'm going to build this. And this, I'll use jungle. You can use really whatever wood you want in whatever pattern you want. But this is just the one I'm going for right now. And here, I don't want it to look entirely flat, so I'm gonna do the I'm gonna do some birch here. But again, it's entirely up to you. This is in, this is like the most customizable part of the house. You can have it like a different wood in every room if you want. That would actually look kind of sick. So here, we're gonna build up some pillars on the walls here, uh, and we'll do one here as well. And then here, we just fill in all the wood like that. Connect this up, and then bring this back. Here we build it up again, bring it back, build it up again, and this is why we had these two pillars, so we can have this spot. And if you have end rods, put them here. So then on the ground, you fill in the whole floor of this space with the jungle planks. Wait, I can use the fill command. Yeah. Um, jungle planks. I... I'm a genius. It didn't actually work, but it got me closer to what I needed in a faster amount of time. So that's all I care about. Wow, yeah, that was really nice. <laughs> Anyways, that's mostly all the wood done for the first floor. So now it's time to do our staircase. So we're going to start here. So we're just going to go on this one block pattern all the way up the staircase. It's a little bit annoying uh, when you're doing it, especially in survival, there's a lot of broken slabs and places they're not supposed to be, but it gets easier, and especially if you put the glass in first. It may be slow, but it is working, and it is a staircase that makes it up here. And up here, I'm gonna put in jungle planks in this whole little spot here. So yeah, I'm getting out the auto clicker. <laughs> This is remarkably fast. I love it. Get yourself a, a good auto clicker when you're building creative. It makes all the difference. Some people, oh, not even creative. I don't think really anyone finds it cheap if you're in creative because it just saves time. <laughs> like it gives you more time to be creative. Sometimes you'll miss some blocks though. Make sure to cover those in. And you're, we're still going to go under this little weird block here. Just make make it look like it doesn't even exist. So once we're done with it, you can't even tell that there is a, a weird little block there. And I think that's actually done. <laughs> All right. 
So we have this little walk around pathway, oops, here. Then over here, we're gonna fill in the top here. So let's fill in this little line that I forgot about. Then the rest is gonna be slabs. All right, oopsies, I missed one. And now we start getting to the birch places. So let's put some birch in the places. So this is a weird room because I have this, every time I do the ceiling, it turns out a little differently. So you can take your own liberties in this one, but generally what I'm gonna be doing is this. So I'm gonna fill in some wood here, make this doorway uh, only two by three. Then take the rest of this wood up to this pillar, just bring it back like this, and bring it up a around this door and just fill this in here. And we have this little entrance hallway sort of thing. Maybe some coat racks, armor stands, some lights, uh, cause I don't have those yet. Then here, I'm gonna put a line of slabs, just concealing this little uh, thing here. And I'm gonna have some slabs along this too. And just keep this whole slab thing going. So then I'm gonna fill in this last line here pertaining to this column of wood that we did earlier. And from here, I'm actually gonna slope it up one and fill in the rest with the regular planks. And then here on the top, I'm gonna to keep filling this in so we actually have a floor. But then back downstairs, it's A, getting dark, but B, getting pretty. So I'm back in this room, I'm gonna fill in this whole thing with the blocks, and again, um, it makes it look a little cooler in comparison because it's like a little dip down. Um, but if you don't have enough birch blocks, just just do slabs. It's so it's it's not worth the aesthetic if you don't have the blocks. I do have a method of doing this without actually having to mine up all your concrete powder and just you just water bucket, put the concrete powder down and water bucket all. But the thing is, that gets really messy, so I, I actually probably would recommend sitting in a river and getting all your concrete hardened before building this house, because I think it might actually be less con time consuming in the long run. But then once we do this section here in the slabs, then we have the wood on the second floor done, and we can start getting the wood uh, up here in pillars, so let's do that. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. <laughs> one, oop. One, two, three, four. And then we're gonna bring this all the way around like this. Just all the way up and all the way over. And nothing on this side here, except for here. <laughs> and from the outside, that actually is gonna look like a nice solid block. Makes it look nice and modern, nice and cool. Then we're gonna finish this off by just wrapping around the wood on this ceiling, like so. And again, um, oh, pillar pillar here as well, I, I forgot. And then fill in that whole wood thing. And if you wanna do the slabs here, you can. I'm just gonna not do it for neatness sake, but in survival, do your slabs, use your slabs. I cannot stress how much you need to use your slabs. And now I can actually finish the concrete here because it didn't make sense without the context of the room. But what we're gonna do is just drag this concrete all the way back and make this whole wall concrete and then make a door hole. <laughs> so the door can be wherever you want. Uh, I'm gonna make it here. And we're gonna put a four wide hole here and then just put some wood pillars like this and if you want you can like do this and put a door here i'm not gonna it's a nice open house the one downside of course is that you have to light up your house well or else zombies can just walk all around it and especially when you're building be careful of creepers make sure to light this up really properly unlike what i'm doing now this is a very big mob spawning hazard <laughs> but now you're up here and when i make this keep in mind if you're in survival put a light in here just put a torch, because zombies will spawn if you cover this up like this. But either way, we're going to build this pillar up until this point, one away from this uh, column. Then we're going to build another one here. Another one here. And another one here. Then we're going to count from here, one, two, three, four, and then build one up here to make a four wide space. 
connect them up here on the top. So now filling in the jungle slab on the roof. Fill in any holes that your auto clicker did not get. And I'm going to fill in this whole wall with wood this time instead of concrete because you gotta have some, uh, you gotta you gotta you gotta have some variety in your home. And again, choose where the door hole is gonna be, and I'm going to line it up with this hallway here. Or no, I'm gonna offset it because if someone's walking down the hallway and you're just like sitting in your room and you're you're getting changed. You don't want someone just walking straight down this hallway to be able to look into your room and just see you getting changed. So we're going to offset this by one. Then just build this up here and around, and you've got a little 3x3 three three door to walk into your room. And what I'm going to do is a few blocks away from the door, I'm just going to build this little spot here. And you don't have to do this, but I, I always tend to do this because then when you're back here, you can just put your bed in here, and it's a nice little secluded area. So now in this room, we're also going to go pretty ham with the wood, putting it on just literally all the walls. Just just cover your walls in the wood. Again, light that up <laughs> before building there. And wrap this all the way around. You've got yourself a full room just encased in wood. Then up here, where do you want to put the door? I'll put mine here. Uh, like this. Put the pillars here, and you got yourself a door. It could even be down here, which could be interesting. You could have a side door here if you really want. Um, I feel like that'd be a bit weird just coming straight here and seeing another door. But it could also be like uh, the, the bedroom hallway. Like this hallway is the hallway where there's bedrooms. Who knows? You can fill in the roof with your slabs. And that is a nice room that I did not finish. And it's so dark, so you know what? We're going to punch in a window in this area here, and we'll leave this block here so we can have a little space here. And back here, I'm just going to put some torches. You could put some chests or something there. So then the pretty much the only wood you have left to do is around here, and we're just going to fill this in with the slabs. Oh, and this spot too. Don't forget about that. You can't leave any spot unattended. Just fill this whole thing in. Oop, I missed a block. Again, it's going to be dark on my screen, and I'm going to use end rods for lighting later. And end rods are really expensive, so if you really want, you can just place torches everywhere. That works fine. It doesn't really take away from the build. Uh, it was designed for end rods, but it also wasn't really designed for survival until I made it in survival. And let me tell you, it took me so long to get those end rods the first time I, I did it. Because, like, I, I'm no casual Minecraft player. I've been playing for 10 years, and I, I know my way around a good end city. But, like, it took so long. But either way, the only thing I forgot is this little wall here, which I'm going to be filling in with this little wood. And again, you can put, like, chests or something back here. Um, I had it as a kitchen area the first time I built it, so maybe you could put, like, furnaces or something. Uh, but then you build this wall all the way back around, but leave space for a, another bunker window. Because you know how much we like those one-slit windows in this house. But, oh, there's bats spawning. Okay, time to do it. We're putting in the end rods because there are bats spawning and I don't like bats. So, just put end rods in pillars like this where it's dark. I'll put it here outside the door. And I'm going to be lenient with them because I'm in creative. But just know in survival, if you do have end rods and you don't have enough, put in places, put torches other places. Just don't, don't, go, don't, don't drive yourself nuts with these end rods. Let's put some at the end of this. What I'm going to do is put it by the door again. Here, if you want, you can put some, I guess, concrete pillars making this doorway a thing. You don't really need to, but I'm going to do that so I can have somewhere to put the end rods. Pita, don't look. Then downstairs, let's just put some in front of the staircase, maybe. So then here again, put some more. You just got to really put these everywhere, man. You, you really, you cannot have enough end rods. But you can already see how much like better this is looking just because we lit it up a bit. And honestly, for now, that's going to be it with the end rods. There are going to be more later, but that that's going to come with some time. And we're going to have to start putting in the glass. So here comes my least favorite part is the glass. And you can use any color, but I recommend either black or cyan. Or I guess white could work also, but I'm going to go with black. 
So starting off right here, we're just gonna fill this in like so and leave a little spot for the door. I wish these were easier to place, but I'm gonna leave this spot right here for the door. And across this, I'm gonna place this as a window here. Same here, and you just gotta put the glass everywhere. <laughs> Literally, this whole house is a window. I, I don't know why I did this to myself, because I hate placing in glass, but it just looks so good. Just just put the glass everywhere, man. You just gotta you just gotta go for it. Let's put some slabs. Let's 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 do a little a nice little balcony entrance here. You don't really need to, but <laughs> while we're here, we might as well. Let's put one here. You don't want people to just jump in over here. I mean, they still can, but they will be discouraged. Put them all around this thing here. Now put them around this balcony here, and we'll put some glass on the floor. Then glass all along this balcony. And we have these little little protrusions here, so to get rid of those, I'm just going to fill in this wall like this. You don't have to. It looks a little bit weird, but at least you don't have the ugly glass. And we'll just fill this in, so when you're down here, you have a nice, nice little look up at what people are not going to be walking on, because that's dangerous. Then for the fun part of filling this whole thing in with glass, just, this is a big gigantic window and it's all gonna be filled in because building that with glass pane sounds like an, a nightmare that I would not be able to wake up from and subjecting myself to that is something I only do every once in a while and I would not put it on the internet but then we have that whole thing done so let's fill in some glass around here upstairs as well hmm. this is the fun part where the most glass has to be placed in the tallest Oh god, why did I make this? I'm gonna save that for last. I'm gonna do these here. It's 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 a pain. The glass it takes a while to get. And if you don't have a good source of like squids and black dye, I suggest going for like light gray if you find them in flowers or white from bone meal or like the easiest dye or just regular glass. It doesn't have to be fancy, but I am fancy, so I am doing this. And then here, I'm just going to put this in here to make the doorway look less gigantic. Then I'm going to do this on the staircase too. We're going to cover this in because it does not look very nice as it is. You just slam your head in there. So why slam your head in the stairs when you can slam your way into a glass window that can shatter and cut your skin? Sorry, Peter. Another function, if y'all don't already know, probably some of you might, most of you might, but if you middle click, you can pick whatever block you're looking at that's in your hand. And if it's not in your hand, say if it's in my inventory here, it just goes to that. It's, it's, it's a great function. It's really, really nice and useful when you're building big structures and you don't want to have to like check in your inventory for every single little block. So now we have the size of the staircase done. And when you're up here, you don't want a full window, that's too much glass. So we'll just put this little banister on the side so the, the kids don't jump down the stairs and die. I mean, they could still climb up this uh, three foot tall thing and just fall anyways. But it's more fun that way. So and fill this whole thing in with glass on the side here. So much glass, I'm going insane. My dialogue is getting really sporadic and I am aware of it. Put in the glass here, and up here we're also going to be putting in the glass. Fill in the top of this with glass as well. We've still got so much glass to go, there's so much glass in this house. If you want to make some of the wooden parts larger and, and, and remove some of the windows from the equation, feel free because there's so many windows. Now time for this jungle room. Why did I use the auto clicker? That was so not neat. Oh my god. Oh, this actually works really well if you, like, press yourself up to the side. Oh, I lied. Just, just, just fill in the last window. Fill in the last window, come on. I know how to aim. I know, I, I'm a Bedwars player, I can aim. Ah, that doesn't, that's actually a contradictory statement. And I think that's all the windows. If it isn't, too bad. Just fill in the glass. And then, the ultra, ultra, mega optional thing... Iron trap doors. I am not requiring you to put these at all, but I'm gonna do this real quick because. Wait, no. Gotta. Wait, I was there. Wait, I was there. There we go. 
Oh god, this is gonna be hard. Obviously, I didn't think this part through. But you're gonna put end rods like this. And in survival, I'd recommend probably putting them from the top. Alright, and then what we're gonna do is the same thing here. I'm gonna learn from my mistakes. Put them up there, and then just put the trap doors like so. It just it just looks nice in my opinion. If you don't like them, good for you. You don't have to put iron. <laughs> but then we have this path block, so I'm gonna fill this in here. I'm gonna fill it in this way around some of the house, some of the front of the house especially. You can make a little like a path up to your house like this if you wanna. Just fill in this whole thing all the way around. And we're going to stop right here uh, once we get to the second wood, jungle in this case. And we're going to start filling it in the other way, and we're going to get here. And just fill it all the way across. And stop right about here. Now I'm going to get some uh, lighting blocks. Uh, whatever you want, I'm going to use sea lanterns, and I'm going to get some uh, jungle leaves right here. I'm going to put the sea lanterns all the way across this path. I am an idiot. And stop right here, and I'm just going to... You can put like a path out like this if you want. I'm just going to do this. But then you're going to fill in leaves on top of all the sea lanterns. Just fill this in like that. And around here you got a nice little, little path like this. And you can do that on the front if, if you want as well. This could be a nice little yard area. Anything you really want. Uh, this could be a nice little pond. When I originally built it, it was a pond. And that was a yard. And this was like the front door. But the doors are really weird. And there's one here, one there. So it can really be whatever door you want. But in terms of interior decoration, if you want to get my take on what the inside should look like, don't. I don't know how to d d interior decorate as seen by my drastic uh, shift in quality with my end rod placements. But that's the house. That's that's it. Um, I hope you really liked this tutorial. It, it took me a while to build... Oh, there's more... So, when you're finally done with the windows, you can be done with the whole house. You just gotta put in the glass. It's simple. Put in the glass. Put in the glass. And I am gonna celebrate by looking at my favorite Minecraft painting. The skull. So anyways, if you like this house, or you like this video, or you like me, uh, well, you can, uh, drop a like, you can subscribe. I worked really hard in this house, uh, I probably didn't work very hard in this video, I don't know. It's, it's just a fun thing that I want to do, and if you want to see another style of house that you want me to try and out and build, just tell me in the comments. I probably won't do it, because I, I suck at building in any other style except for modern, but I'll give it a shot. So I guess that goes, if you want to see more houses in this style, tell me in the comments, because I've got a few lined up, and I've got another minute house, one of the things that got me popular in the first place. So, just tell me what you want to see in the comments, and I'll, I'll put my focus on that. Whoa. Okay, it's a glitch. Uh, bye.